Akima is millet, actually, precisely finger millet. And that forms the basis of uh, um, uh, the Iteso subsistence food. Every ceremony that is performed, there has to be some traditional beer, which is ajon. And ajon is made from Akima. Even some ceremonies, you could grind the grains and smear around the face, make tattoos, make patterns. Akima is highly nutritious. Starting from porridge, you use akima. Cakes, you use akima. When you use akima with the, this cassava, you mix together and prepare ugali. Akima has even scientifically been believed that if you go to hospitals, the porridge that is given to patients is made of akima because of those ingredients in it. Those days when all Tesos were planting akima as their cash crop, as their cultural food, there was no famine. You just go to the granary, you take your akima, and then go to the market. You either uh, sell it and buy whatever you want to buy, or you just butter. This is tasty millet milba. It's a millet kind of chocolate. Inside here is millet, groundnuts, and honey. Millet is a drought resistant crop, and also it doesn't use any chemicals for growth as it grows naturally. Millet helps uh, relieve uh, the effects of obesity. Also, the diabetic people, millet is a very good thing. For the honey, it helps reforestation of the land in the community. We get millet from farmers that we have recruited. A teso without akima, without a granary of akima, is not a teso. Akima and teso, very compatible. 